Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And uh, one of the problems I see uh, beginners having when they are retrieving fly line is they don't level wind it on the reel. So the reel ends up being all bulked up on one side, the line gets pushed to one side, the coils are quite loose, and when they go to pull line out, uh, they get problems with the uh, line uh, getting tangled. It, uh, with cheaper reels, it can get between the, the frame and the spool and get lodged in there. Uh, often this particular spot on the reel ends up uh, getting the line snagged in it. There's lots of things that can go wrong if you don't level a wind properly. Uh, also, the, you know, they don't get uh, a, a nice even layering of the line, so when they're retrieving a uh, line on a big fish, it gets jammed up on one side, and then it can jam in the, uh, in the frame. Now this one has lots of room in it because it's a pra just a practice line that I put on a reel. This, uh, actually I would never take this fishing the way it is right now because uh, there's not enough backing on the reel, but for practice it's fine. But it'll show the job when you try to level wind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brace the reel, and you see I've got my little finger here, and as I retrieve, I will move my little finger from one side to the other. And I'll even do this when playing a fish. And as a consequence, I'm getting a nice smooth level wind, and it's under tension. So there's no loose coils here. Everything got wound nice and level. No loose coils, nothing that's going to snag up, cause a problem, get trapped in the frame. It ends up being quite a, a, a smooth, even layer of line, and it's under tension, so those coils are tight. And it makes a big difference in your fishing if you do that. So, learning to level line using your little finger, and just going from one side to the other. I'm coming down to the end of my line now. There we go. Wind it all in, no problems, nice and smooth. So it's just moving the little finger backwards and forwards, and keep the line in the little finger, like that. So you've got it trapped in the, under your little finger and you can keep the tension on and just move backwards and forwards and you'll get a nice level wind, just like a bait casting reel. So if you're used to bait casting reels, it's the same principle. So don't forget that, it's important. Uh, as I say, it solves lots of problems. You're gonna get a lot less uh, tangles in your reel, snagging on the frame, whatever the case. And when you pull line off, it comes off cleanly. And so, uh, as a consequence, you know, your fishing is more trouble-free. Uh, so, remember that. Learn to level wind. You could sit in the house and just do what I'm doing here. I'm out in my patio. And you could just sit there and practice until and become subconscious. You don't even realize you're doing it. And uh, it's very effective and important that you do when you're playing a large fish because it can solve some problems. So, keep that in mind. Have a level wind. Cheers.